So, I came up with an idea today, which I thought could be quite entertaining. And it is this. I did if this was working. <laughs> Dig in. Lukov's AS Mark Stravaganza Drunken Star Trek Drawing. I've been meaning to do something like this for a while. Yeah. Oh, why isn't anything ever easy? science book was covered in these and it slowly progressed so you know all Star Trek ships have the same basic shape they have saucer section warp nacelle and the I should know this. I'm pretty hammered right now. And the uh, hull. And then of course they're joined in. So that slowly turned into that. Which then, when you add a different colour, and pink because I couldn't find the red one, you've got roughly see the rough shape. Now, otherwise, I'm not really sure I'll go with this, but I just thought it'd be quite funny to do it. So, once again, it was <laughs> Look at my Enterprise. Look at it. It's amazing. This was the shuttle bay, the shuttle bolt. 
Because you have the color, it changes everything, yeah. <laughs> and then from the front, it was... So, I'm going to have an attempt to draw the main enterprises as I can kind of remember them as long as I can be bothered and the beer is still flowing. Although, outside at the moment, the car's pulled up. It's three in the morning. So, basic lesson. Saucer section. Yep. Engineering. Hop. Whip nice cells. My spelling is probably atrocious right now. See, I'm so drunk, I'm even wearing a hat, which is a clue to another roleplay. And this equals most basic Starfleet ships. And we'll go into more, and then of course you get the Defiant, which is that kind of shape. And we, we could try to draw a Voyager. We'll have a Voyager later. Every time. Okay. So. This is paper my wife bought home from work. <laughs> For me to play with. <laughs> so, we will start off with drawing. The Enterprise. From the next generation, launched in 2263, destroyed, dead in 2271. Yes, yeah, right. So we will do side. So I'm just trying to guess it is front and top. So from the front, it had a it was a much longer, straighter kind of. This is all from memory. There we go. Kind of saucer section. Bridge was up there, and then there was the deflector dish and the engineering hole. So while that kind of goes around like that, there's this little bit of a bump down there, and it kind of. I'm trying to remember how this goes. It kind of went. Something like that. Might have been a bit wider. And then the nacelles kind of came out like that. Because they kind of stick out a bit there. Would you like a beer? This isn't going to be upside down. Sorry. On the side, it was more kind of. How far can I go down there? There. You had that kind of length, and I went down. I should have done this in pencil first. Uh, let's go like that. That's not right, 
is it? And then the nacelle was slightly below it, about there. This isn't quite correct, I know that for a fact. So if we make that more saucer shaped. Kind of like that there. So the saucer section will go like that. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> There's a real fat ass saucer section in it. Oh, you can't see that though, can you? Okay, and if we. way too big, it's small, kind of like about there. And then the engineering hole, and it kind of has that little bit underneath there. So, does that make sense? And the saucer section was, well I know you said I was kind of come out to the side a little bit. So let's do that, there you've got that bit there. Buzzard collectors are kind of there. And then we've got the arms for the that bit. And that kind of roughly looks like the Enterprise. Kind of. If you just kind of get rid of that bit. I don't have a white marker, so what do I? Kind of unsure why I thought a whiteboard marker would work on white paper. <laughs> hmm. So again, buzzer collector is each side there. And then this was kind of a blue. Like that. And then from the top. From the top, it wasn't quite as round as the original Enterprise, so it was kind of more kind of that kind of shape because it was much bigger than that. And then there was a rough, a little rough guess here. Mm. No, that's a bit far back. Well, we'll go with it anyway. And then Ah, oh, that was it. So, it was like that. Because, of course, the saucer section could come off. So. So important, this is so highlighted in the bridge, and then on the top, you had all the windows and you had like the phaser banks, which were around there. And it was much more kind of you know detailed than the last ship, like that. Yeah, then you had the nice cells, which I'm fairly sure they might go a bit more forward, but you get the general idea. And then it went out. 
this looks really wrong. This is not right at all. Um, <laughs> so, if we match it up with that, how's that go? Alright, so it'll be like that. Well, let's, we'll stick with it, we'll stick with it. So it goes down like that. Setting up. Man, I need to get back into my... And then, of course, the blue on the side. And then the buzzer collectors again. And this definitely needs a little bit of colour. Can't add it. So if ignore all this. Yeah. <laughs> Is there another angle we could do? From the bottom. Where's it room? It was something like no, no, that's not right either. Anyway, in twenty two seventy one, this went. You onto Viridian three. And this bit, which was that, went. Oh, this is so good. This one went. Because those little Klingon bastards. Pew, 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 pew. Shot it. That should have been done in green. I'm going to need more colours. Search for Spock. Maybe it's not that. This is a much simpler. This was the original. Design. So the saucer section for this one was much more. And it kind of went down and it had that kind of toilet roll, body roll. And then the walkway cell was, was it higher or was it lower? Mm, it was about there. I might go back a bit further. It was that simple. Then it had a the deflector dish it was literally just kind of a satellite dish. So that's roughly right. Now in the original idea, the saucer section was always meant to be able to come off. And in Star Trek Phase 2, that didn't that was meant to be planned, but it didn't happen, and then that entered into the encounter at far point. That looks awful. From the front, it was the more, it was much more. I swear there's a way about. It. 
I should load up when I put this up. I should put pictures of the Enterprise next to it just to see how it goes. And then there was a deflector dish there. And then it literally just came out at the sides. Does that make sense? <laughs> and then of course, you know, pew, 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 pew. Uh, from the top, it was much more Round. Go up that way. Round. So. If you like this, I can do this <laughs> in a general thing. Drunk Luke draws stuff. The design on that was much simpler as well. It was literally just that. The nacelles didn't have the blue bit on, but they did have a bit of a red bit at the front. But now that looks like a penis, so that's great. <laughs> for the TNG shuttlecraft. In the original shuttlecraft, I would just kind of, it's just a very simple, design. Walkness on the side. It kind of looks like a bus. What was that called? Goddard, wasn't it? drunks in a minute, I should go and join them. Don't forget that bit. And that bit. And then they can have the original design. Like that the 1701. God, I hope the sound quality on this is alright, otherwise I've really just wasted my time here. And that's that one. Next up, we'll attempt Deep Space Nine and Voyager. Sure, there was another kind of ring.
and then from the side you have the habitat ring like that and then you had the they kind of went over like that to give this kind of formation do, 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 do. Do, do, and then you have the ships there and then I think there's another ring let's go 3D and then in the middle it was like ops and stuff like that and then you know sometimes you had the Enterprise there now when we see the Enterprise there should we go complicated or should we go Enterprise <laughs> now the Defiant I can never get this one right I remember trying to draw it as a kid and the Defiant was always like you know the front nose piece and then it kind of whittled off like that you had the side bit and then it kind of Similar to that, this is probably out of proportion here, but we'll go with this anyway. And uh, I don't, I know there was that bit there, and it goes like because that's the bridge, and then that bit is blue, and then a few of these bits of blue. And I don't really remember a lot of the other details, but I do remember that it would fire torpedoes going. So that's kind of like it. And then. Chased by a <laughs> Jemadar attack cruiser. <laughs> well, then, blatantly it looks like a tire fighter. Okay, next we're trying to call the Voyager. The Voyager it was weird because it didn't have. I'm trying to remember how that looks, the Intrepid class, wasn't it? It kind of had the flat thing there and then it went. Increased warp speed of some bolts like that. So I think it was not so much like that. Well, I know how to draw Voyager properly. We go like this. Because fuck Voyager. Shit. Ship. Not great show. It had some very good episodes, but none of the characters were worth getting to know. So, screw you, Voyager. I could try to draw an XO1. Uh, let's try. What's the Enterprise E? Can you see down there? No, I never had a go at the Enterprise E. I was never very good at that one. Let's try and draw some of the enemy ships. Now, the 
hardest one to draw is the Borg cube. Because you have to make it 3D. <laughs> make it. Ooh, you, know, you know, that kind of effect. And then, and then there was an even harder one. The Borg Cube. You have to get the 3D effect. But that did always have like that little bit of green bit at the top, at the bottom. And throughout, to tell you, like Voyager introduced it, you know? So, it kind of made it look cool. Ooh. Then, what should we go for? Roman on the bird, which was it was a nice cell there, and then it kind of goes. This is only a very rough idea, but this thing kind of curved round like that, and then had a beak that was much bigger there. That was the warning cell. And then it kind of had a gap between it and so that's space. And then next to the Enterprise, it was... <laughs> and then that was kind of a light green. And then that was all green. And that's kind of like the only really Romulan ship you see for most of the next generation, apart from the little ones. Uh, who else have we got? Come on, remind me of some, remind me of some bad guys. Uh -huh. The Klingon Bird of Prey, which was something like that. Uh, now don't laugh, this isn't a penis. And the wings. Something like that. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's try this again. I know the wings definitely went like that. And then at the end of it was the gun. And then I think it was. Is really embarrassing. The Borg, the Romulans. Oh, you can draw Q, although it seems to think that my camera thinking this is a face. The Q. He's worse than all of these guys put together. Let's draw this one from the front, because I can do that one better, I reckon. You had it roughly round like that. And then it would kind of go off. These are the guns.
That looks more like the K7 class, D7 cruiser. <laughs> and now it looks like a man going, oh. Um, <laughs> so what, I'm gonna look back at this in the morning when I'm editing this. Because this is going up no matter what the quality is like, this is the fun. And it's gonna be cringy as hell. The Ferengi, which have like the kind of kind of ship like that, and then it kind of goes around there. And I realise I'm basically drawing out the because they're greedy bastards. That may not be right, but I know that's the rough shape of the ship. The Ferengi, the Borg. It's so embarrassing, I can't remember these things properly. But yeah, then there's Q. What we will try to do now, rather than the ships. Is to... the original one. No, it's not. That was the next generation communication badges, wasn't it? And then they had the round bit like that. Because I used to have one. And when you tap it, it'll go Starfleet. And then there was the other one, which was more Roundish again. And this one was, and then it was, I think this is right. This is like Voyager time. I think it might be like that. And that was gold. Silver, silver, silver. And then there was one in the future where they go to all good things, which was similar again. Maybe a bit taller. And then that was three bars like that. And that gets involved a few times there. This is all coming back to me. And then what was there? There was the, I can't remember the, the Klingon. No, this may be it. This, this may be the last of it. I'm trying to think of anything else I could draw. That was, oh. That's, I'm going to draw you the different class planets. Yeah, so, class M, class N, P, and Q. <laughs> Universal Federation, which was that, and then the reef, like that, go around the side, and then I think it was just like the stars and stuff like that in the middle. The room near no United Federation of Planets, and then everyone else will go boom, boom, boom to try and take it out. <laughs> 
I should do more Star Trek videos, they were quite good. Uh, what else was there? So, I'm going to turn this off and there's going to be something really freaking obvious I've missed, I reckon. I'll tell you what, if you enjoyed this, you tell me, and I'll do something like this again. Um, <laughs> this is the boring bit, isn't it? What else was there? I'm quite tempted to look at my phone to have a look and see what the um, oh, the Klingon one was something like that, and then because I've nearly got this tattooed. That was red. Or pink in this case. Oh, I went out the line. And then I'm fairly sure that was green, maybe. Doesn't look right, but we'll go for it anyway. one. Romulans, too complicated, too complicated. I know the Borg had one, they all had they all had their own signs. I used to know all of these. But I think that's it. So thanks for watching. And uh, I've never done this before but Why not? Everyone else bloody does. Why shouldn't I? Anyway. Lovely time with you. Take care. Where's the button to turn off the recorder? <laughs>